guys. Sorry, I couldn't tell if it was recording or not. Um, but it's Amanda, and it's Tuesday, and today, this week, we're talking about um, ways you can save money on your book habit. And first of all, I just want to show you guys. Check out my shirt. If you guys know what uh, what reference that is to, you get a gold star. Whoever comments first gold star. But anyway, um, this week we're talking about ways to save money uh, while buying books. And I am a big book buyer and hoarder. I like, I prefer buying my books. I like to have them and keep hold of them. And I don't like feeling like I have to return them um, from a library. And um, I, I use my library for uh, audiobooks and a lot of nonfiction. That's a really good way to save money is by using your library because um, if you buy an audiobook new it can get up to like eighty dollars and that's crazy in my opinion that's way too much money for an audiobook but you can get them for free from your library and um, I also cookbooks and nonfiction books can be really expensive as well so getting them from the library is great I, I tend to do that with cookbooks quite a bit because you know you don't know until you try the recipes if it's going to be worth anything to you and then, you know, if you really do like the cookbook, then you can go out and buy it after you try a few recipes. Um, and so, you know, using the library is a great resource. I also like to go to used bookstores. Um, I have a couple half price books near my house and my work that I go to a lot. And, um, you know, they're half price books or less. I uh, definitely make uh, use of that and make use of their clearance rack because you can usually find some really good books for one or two dollars even there which is great. Um, I would also say um, sign up for online coupons and mailing lists. I know around holidays Barnes & Noble will send out coupons, Half Price Books sends out coupons every now and then where they'll have like a week of coupons and so that's a great way to sign up for that. Um, another thing is if you have an e-reader, um, Patrol, the like cheap and daily deals, like I know on Amazon they have, every month they have 100 books that are $3.99 or less, and um, I just kind of keep my eyes open. I have a Kindle wish list, and then I scroll through there, and if I notice every now and then they'll drop a price down to just a few dollars, and then I'll usually pick up that e-book. Um, all of my e-books, I think I've only bought like just a few at full price. Nearly all of the e-books I've purchased have been two ninety nine or less. So that's a really it's really smart to kind of just keep checking continuously for um, deals. And also another thing you can do is join a membership program. Um, Bards and Noble has a membership program, but I'm not a member of that because I don't think it's great of a deal. But I have a books a mil books a million near me, and I sign up for that one. And so like probably four or five times a month, I'll get a five dollars off for twenty five dollar purchase you know ten percent off your online purchase and so I try to plan my trips around those coupons and and I I try to when you have a coupon like that like if you spend X amount you get this much off if it's a set dollar amount like the one that I use the most in stores is five dollars off twenty five dollars or more so I try to plan my purchase to be as close to twenty five as I possibly can because then you're really getting the best deal and obviously if it's a percentage, um, that's a little different math because with percentages, the more you buy, the more you save. But when if it's a set amount, try to get it as close to that uh, minimum price as possible because then you're getting the best deal. Um, and, you know, obviously sharing with people is a great way to save money. Um, using uh, websites like Goodreads and YouTube to find out about books before you buy them is a great way to save money because you know if you just you can use the reviews and and people's opinions to kind of help you decide if you're going to buy a book or if you're going to just get it from the library or whatever um now the one thing i would say not to do is do not pirate ebooks don't do that that's shitty um get them from legit sources don't don't steal. Like, that's not the good way to get free books. It's, it's not worth it. Um, there are plenty of resources to get low cost and free reading materials. Um, I would say uh, half of my book collection, if not more, is used 
books. I, I buy a lot of those. And um, another thing is Christmas is coming up, too. You know, you can ask your parents for gift cards or, you know, um, maybe say, take me to a bookstore and let me spend X amount of money. But that's a that's a really fun gift. And, and then you get to go with your family or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whomever, and you kind of get to, like, spend time with them. And I, I think that that's a lot of fun to do. Um, so there's, there's lots of ways to kind of save money and uh, just pay attention to coupons, pay attention to used shops, and use your library. Those are probably the top three. Um, this video is very sporadic, but um, I hope that it helped you guys. If you have any questions, post in the comments down below. My computer is still broken, but I'll probably be getting a new keyboard. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to type more soon. It's really annoying not being able to type. But um, that's it for this week, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.